Hey, in this video I'm going to introduce you to how to use GitHub and Bitbucket. So both of these services are virtually the same in the sense that you can store your Git repositories remotely on their servers. Uh, this is a great solution for a team environment if you're working with multiple people and everybody's contributing to the same project. Uh, so you can work with uh, GitHub or Bitbucket to do that. Uh, you can also back up your project uh, files uh, on remotely on either GitHub or Bitbucket. Uh, that way you have a sort of a backup. So that way if something happens to your computer, you still have the code that's saved on GitHub. Uh, additionally, if you're working in, an, in your work, in your office, for instance, and you wanna go home and contribute to the project, you can do that as well. So there's definitely lots of uh, uh, opportunities to, to safeguard your project and uh, really you know, uh, work in the team environment and have a backup. So lots of great benefits to using either GitHub or Bitbucket. Uh, the two differences here is that, uh, the main difference here is that with GitHub, uh, all the repositories are public by default. If you want private, you have to pay a little bit extra for that. On Bitbucket, you do get uh, uh, f free private repositories with a free account. So really th those two, are, uh, to me, are the major differences between the two. Aside from that, they're virtually the same. Okay, so let's get started. So this video does assume that you are already familiar with Git. If you're not familiar with Git, I'll have a link in the notes below uh, to a video just to get you started with Git. So definitely check that out first and then come back here uh, to watch the rest of this video. Okay, so let's get started. So if you don't have a GitHub account, we'll do GitHub first and then I'll, I'll show you an example of how Bitbucket works. Uh, so if you don't have an account with uh, GitHub, so go head on over to github.com and to create one there. So once you do that, you'll be logged into uh, GitHub, which looks like this. And what you want to do here is you want to click the little plus symbol here at the top right hand corner and you want to do new repository. So the name of this repository, we'll just call this one GitHub uh, project. We're just calling this the same as the project folder that I have saved on my desktop, but you can call this anything you like. Uh, you can leave the description blank, leave it public. Uh, you can uh, leave this unchecked. Remember, we're going to skip this step because we're going to be uh, uh, importing an existing Git repository into GitHub. So we can go ahead and skip that as well. So go ahead and click on create repository. So when you do that, you have a uh, empty uh, GitHub repository where it's ready for our files to get pushed to this uh, uh, repository on GitHub. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the first thing we want to do is I have uh, two project folders. So I'm going to show you this in uh, Sublime Text here. So we have our GitHub project. This is a simpler HTML5 boilerplate project, just uh, index.html, so JavaScript folder, image folder, CSS folder. So an example of a project that you might be working on right now. So let's say this is uh, maybe a project you're working on and you want to save this remotely to GitHub. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that this project here is um, uh, has Git uh, running all in this project folder. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to go navigate to our uh, GitHub project folder. I'm in the Bitbucket project folder. We'll come back to this one later on. So if, you want to, if you're using Windows, you want to use the command prompt. If you are running on a Mac, you want to use the terminal. Both will be the same command. So you type in CD and you can actually just drag the GitHub project folder into here. So you get that um, uh, the uh, path to the project folder there. So once you hit uh, return, you'll see that you're inside that project folder. And if I tap in git status now, you'll see that there is no git repository here. So first we need to do that. So we're gonna do git init. So now we have an empty git repository uh, project full in, inside our project folder. If you type in git status, you'll see some untracked files and the folders. So we wanna tr uh, go ahead and track that. So git add, git commit. I'm just going to call this initial commit. Perfect. Get status again. And here we have not on branch master, nothing to commit, working tree clean. So now we're good to go. I'm going to clear this out, CLS. So we have our Git project folder inside, inside our uh, Git um, uh, project uh, directory. So we can push this to our Git repository here 
on GitHub. So let's go ahead and do that now. So first thing first, we need to make sure that we, in fact, they actually give you some uh, commands that we need for our case. So we want to push an existing repository from the command line. So that's exactly what we want to do now. So we're going to go ahead and do this here. So the first command we want to do is git remote at origin. And then we want to have a link to the GitHub link. So this is a GitHub created this link for us. This is a link uh, to our GitHub repository. So we're going to uh, copy that, select that and copy it, cool. So now what we wanna do is type in uh, uh, git remote at origin. So let's do that now, git remote add origin, then paste that link in, hit return. So what you, what you wanna do now is git remote dash V. And this this is, what this is telling us is that this our git local, or local version of our git project is pointing to github.com forward slash barkins forward slash github dash project dot git so this is already pointing to our uh, project uh, on github so once we've done that now we can start pushing the files up to github so let's go ahead and do that now so here we have git push dash u origin master that's what we need to type in now so let's do that now so we want to tell you git push dash u origin master hit return Give it a second, it's gonna upload. It may ask you for your username and password for GitHub, so go ahead and enter that in. Once you do that, go ahead and come back to GitHub, refresh the page, and here you'll see all your project folders here, good to go. Okay, and so the next thing I wanna show you is, well, so what happens if we make changes to our project, after we make commits on our local uh, Git repository, how do we push that back up? So I'll show you how to do that now. So come back over here. So what we wanna do now is, let's say for instance, this is our project here. Go ahead and erase this paragraph tag just so we can see that we actually made a change here. Go ahead and save that. Come back to our command prompt or the terminal. Type in git status. You'll see that we have a modified file, which we do. And clean this out again. So we're gonna git add, git commit, and we'll just say removed p tag. Git status again, good to go. So uh, nothing to commit, working on clean, everything's good to go. So what we need to do now is we need to push this to our remote repository. And so the way we would do that, and you could see that uh, there's a little note here from Git that says your branch is ahead of the origin master by one commit. So it's getting, you know, letting us know, hey, you want, may want to sync this up right now. So it's saying here, use git push to publish your local commits. So let's go ahead and do that now. So you type in git push, hit return. There it goes, come back to your GitHub project, refresh the page. And there it is right there, index.html, remove p tag, there's that commit we just put in here. If you go to commits area, uh, click on the remove p tag here, you'll see that we went ahead and removed a paragraph tag. And that's how you would use GitHub. So uh, Bitbucket works largely the same way. So let's go ahead and, and take that for a spin. So coming back into Bitbucket here, once you've created an account with Bitbucket, you'll you'll be after you log in, you'll see this page here. Uh, hit this little plus here. What we want to do is repository. Very similar. So repository name, we'll call this one bit bucket dash project. This will be a private repository because remember with uh, Bitbucket, it is free. Uh, you can have a free private repositories in there, which is great. Click uh, create repository. And what we're gonna do now is very similarly. So their interface looks slightly different, but every, all the commands are, are the same. So what we wanna do is you click on this, I have an existing project, and you wanna do the same thing, basically what we just did uh, with, um, uh, with uh, GitHub. But there's just a slight variation here, and I'll show you how to, how to uh, do, do it so that it's the same as GitHub. So let's go ahead and do that now. So come back into your command, uh, command prompt here. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out. I'm gonna navigate to my Bitbucket project, which is in a different folder, CD, and then drag in your project folder here, hit return. There we go. We want to type in git status. We'll see that there's no git repository here. So git init, we'll initialize that. Git add, so let's add all the files to the stage. Git commit, we'll type in an initial commit. There we go. So now we type in git status, we should be good to go. So now we have a local version of git on our machine, but we want to push this to our project on Bitbucket. So very similarly, we want to type in git remote at origin get remote add origin. Now don't type uh, the SSH part in. So another way to do this to, to make it very similar to how GitHub works. On the top here, you can hit this little drop down, change this to HTTPS, here it is right here. Copy that link, 
paste it into here, hit return. So get status. Uh, oops. Get remote dash V. You see that now we're pointing to the Bitbucket project. So go ahead and uh, clear that out. And tap in get remote dash V again. Make sure that we're pointing to that project, which we are. The next thing we want to do is push to the origin. So it's very similar to the way we did this with GitHub. Get push dash U origin master. Hit return. It's going to ask for a password. So go ahead and enter that in. So I'm entering it now, it's just hiding it from you, uh, but you should be good to go. Come back here, refresh this page, and you'll see our uh, Git repository remotely saved on Bitbucket. If you click on the source link here, you'll see our project right over here. You can view the code and you should be good to go, very similarly to the way GitHub works. Okay, and that's it.